Workplace Disagreement, Dealing with Conflict. Hey Stacy, what's your problem? I get that you are a new waitress, but around here we split our tips. Cheating your coworkers out of money is not a good way to make friends. This is a popular restaurant. Everybody has to pull their weight. What are you talking about? The only problem I have is with rude bartenders. I didn't cheat you out of anything. In my last job, we didn't have to do any of this nonsense. You don't even work with the customer. If you want tips, change jobs. What is conflict? Conflict is a process that begins when a person perceives that another individual has negatively affected or is about to negatively affect something that they care about. There's good conflict and bad conflict. What is good conflict? Disagreement, if done in a polite, non-aggressive manner, can be useful in generating ideas and creative input. For example, I like your idea, but have you thought about this factor? Bad conflict is characterized by strong negative words and sometimes outbursts of anger. This way of communicating is not an effective way to generate ideas. For example, I think your idea is terrible. What were you thinking? Language of disagreement. What things are not acceptable to say when disagreeing? What's your problem? You're wrong. That's a stupid idea. I don't think your idea will work. What were you thinking? That's way off base. I don't like that plan. You've not thought about factors such as X, Y, and Z. No, absolutely not. That plan will not work. What things should I say if I want to disagree? Clarify the other person's idea, try to understand their perspective, and follow up with questions. I appreciate what you're saying about X, but have you considered Y? That's an interesting idea. I'm concerned about this aspect. What do you think about doing it this way? I see where you're coming from, but I wonder if maybe this idea might work a little better. What do you think? Hey Stacy, how's the first week of work going? Well, I'm still learning the ropes, but so far it seems nice. Hey, I was wondering if any of the other servers have talked to you about how the tipping system works at our restaurant, have they? Uh, no, not yet. Why? Well, according to restaurant policy, the tips that you get from the customer, which are usually between 15 and 20 percent of their bill, are split between the staff. You keep 60 percent, but we split the rest. We just noticed after last night's shift, you hadn't calculated a split. Wow. I know you guys work hard, but handing over 40 percent of my tips seems like a lot. Why is it so high? In the last place I worked, we didn't have to split the tips at all. I understand what you're saying. I'm sure it seems like a lot. Have you considered how the pay scales may differ between the restaurants? Uh, no, I hadn't. Uh, I thought they were all the same. Unfortunately, no. I know that in some restaurants they pay higher wages to kitchen staff, but at this restaurant they don't. We all have to split the tips so it's fair. On the upside, the tips here are much better than in most restaurants in the area. So I imagine you should make something similar to what you were making over at your last job. If not, even more, even with the splitting of tips. Okay, Laurel, I get it now. Thanks a lot for explaining it to me. I really appreciate it. No worries. How do I resolve a disagreement that has already gone poorly? Step one. Step back and explore the issue. Let go of the emotion and focus on the problem that is causing the disagreement. Step two, listen to what is being said rather than how it is being said. Ask questions. You might be wrong. Or if you are right, this will give the other person the opportunity to discover their mistake without feeling threatened. Step three, Brainstorm options with others on how to best solve the problem. Step four, evaluate the options collected, the pros and the cons, and agree on a solution. 
Step 5. Implement the solution. Discuss the steps involved and what the anticipated results will be. And step 6 is to evaluate the outcome. Remember that most conflict stems from misunderstandings. Make sure that you take the time to clarify and understand the other person's point of view. Mm -hmm.